interesting that you mentioned Ben Simmons, who has been the talk of everybody who pays attention to basketball. Look at his numbers. Game one through seven in the fourth quarter, he only got a total of three shots up. That's not necessarily what you want to see from one of your primary options. So after the game Sunday night, Doc Rivers said he didn't know the answer to if Ben could lead the team to a Sixers championship. Doc spoke again Monday about his point guard. I know exactly what we want to do. I'm positive in Ben. I'm very bullish on Ben still. But there's work, and Ben will be willing to do it. Uh, and that's the key. Um, you know, sometimes you have to go through stuff to see it uh, and, and be honest with it. Um, obviously, you know, what Ben just went through, I, I can't imagine that, you know, uh, because he has so much greatness around him and all the things that he does. Um, and there's areas that he can fix quickly, in my opinion, or, and get better and that will take him to another level. I look at this as a great challenge, but a best, definitely a doable one. All right, now there's plenty of blame pie to go around. We don't want to just target out Ben Simmons. Plenty of, of things could be said about the Sixers team, but coach, the biggest blame appears to be going towards Ben Simmons, three-time All-Star, max player. And, and is the criticism fair, and is it time for the Sixers to start looking at moving him? This criticism is fair, but go back to last night. When Doc was asked that question, he paused and said, I don't know. Obviously, Doc slept on it. He thought better. And obviously, the answer he gave today should have been the answer that he gave last night. I don't know. If, and I don't think it took someone to pull Doc coattail. I think Doc's been around long enough to understand that. And reporters are good. That's why they want you right after the game. But again, if Doc was a young coach, Somebody in that PR department would have grabbed him because they knew the emotions were raw. And they would have said to him, be careful how you answer because you know those being questions are coming. So make sure you got your mind right and that you're thinking clearly, right? Because Doc is who he is and won a championship and a veteran coach, people in the PR department failed to do their job last night, in my opinion, because you don't let the coach go out and say something like that. Because I'm going to ask Carlos. Mm -hmm. Is what he said today is what you heard if you're Ben Simmons or what he said last night? Last night, right after the game. I mean, obviously, coach got put on the spot, to coach's point. How do you feel about Ben Simmons? Is, can, he, can he win a championship as a point guard? And he was like, I don't have the answer. I don't know. Which none of us know because they're not going on to the Eastern Conference Finals, obviously. Maybe you move him to a different position. Maybe you move him entirely to answer your question. Maybe you bring in a point guard. Maybe you move Ben to a different location. But the reality of it is this. Ben got to get in the gym and get his confidence back. You know, we've, we've seen him. We haven't seen him take a lot of jump shots, but we've seen him score the ball better. Like this player right here, he has a clear dunk, passes it off. That tells me he's not in a flow offense. He's not confident offensively. That dunk right there puts him up by two and puts more pressure on the Hawks. I feel like Ben got to get in the gym, maybe, you know, see some psychological help just to clear his mind and start, start fresh from, from the mental space. But ultimately, he's got to put the work in shooting the basketball so that he's an actual threat come fourth quarter. The playoffs going to expose you, man. Yeah. It's going to expose your greatness. It's going to expose your weaknesses. It's going to expose what you're good at, what you're not good at. And right now, man, and Doc said it, I can't imagine how Ben's feeling, but if I was Ben, I'd look in the mirror, and people have been telling him this is college. He's heard this before. If it doesn't take root now, it never is because it was on the spotlight. It cost your team your inability to shoot the ball or have the confidence to score. In certain situations, it really hurt your team. So now you got to ask yourself, are you willing to look in the mirror and say, I'm ready to get in the gym and put the work in? Or are you going to keep saying, because I do all these other things great, I'm still a great player. The playoffs going to expose you. All the things you can get by with in the regular season, they're going to get you in the playoffs because coaches got seven games and they got to focus on one team and eight players. Not 14, eight. Mm -hmm. And when you give an NBA coach that kind of time to focus on eight guys, he's going to pick you apart and he's going to make you go to your second, your third, and your fourth move. Yeah, Doc said he...